Hello everyone, it's Nick Lawson with CDC Take Charge Software and this is our 12th session on building an improved desktop for the Microsoft operating system. At the end of our last session we said we would be looking at our web bookmark manager which is exactly what we're going to do. So we come down here on our menu, there it is, we select it and here's our form. Nice, attractive, uh, fits with the overall style of the application and let's talk about how the form is laid out. At the top, you have your typical navigation buttons, you have your sort ascending and descending, your quick filter, your show all, add bookmark, save bookmark, delete bookmark, and show passwords. Okay, here you have a field where you can type in a search string and then click the engine that you want to search with or you can type in a web address, click the world logo, and it'll take you to that address. And the third choice is to select an application down here, and then when you click the globe, it'll take you to this address. All pretty cool. Now, over here, you can sort your bookmarks by groups. So you have personal interest, programming, there you go. Um, Let's go ahead and do a search. So if I search on Take Charge software and I want to use uh, Google. Here it comes back and there's uh, my website, Take Charge software right there. Here is a sample video from YouTube, my uh, YouTube channel. And here is our Alpha Software How-To Guide on our blog. Pretty good. All three show up on the first page. If we want to take and look at uh, the results from somebody else, let's choose Bing. All I have to do is click it. And here we are. We're on Bing. And Take Charge Software is number two. Yay. That's very exciting. Uh, our How-To Guide is just a few further down. And I don't see a video, however. Okay, that's all right. They don't want to promote uh, Google's YouTube channel, I guess. Okay, now let's look at bringing up a web page. Uh, type in our website, click the globe, and there you are. And the last one would be to take and um, pick a, a list, an option down here and click the globe. And there it is, the YouTube channel. See, all three options work. Now, let's look at the password manager. Here, we're selected on YouTube account. I want to show the password for the account. It asked me for a password. So let's type that in and click OK. Now, I do have passwords on my YouTube account, but obviously I'm not going to show them. However, once it's here, I could type them in. Now, why is this important? Well, if you're a gamer like me, every site has a different password. Uh, for support to my customers, I use LogMeIn. Each of the LogMeIn uh, computers uh, has its own password. So by having a memo field where I can type them in a list, is very easy and very convenient uh, and that way I don't have to remember them. Okay, so if I want to hide them, I just click hide and it goes back. Now here, it asks for a password to get in, it doesn't ask for a password to get out. All very cool stuff. Let's take a look at how this works. Let's close our form and we're going to bring it up in design mode. Okay, first, navigation buttons are very simple. I'll show you one. We're not going to look at all of them. Uh, Basically what you're doing is you're using top parent and you're fetching the record level that you want. Now the reason we can do it this way is because our form is bound to the table, and, which is our web list, and that's the current table, so I don't have to do anything special. I'm not fetching down through levels, strictly working at the parent. Very easy to do. The query, uh, if you remember back from our quick note uh, session, that and the sort ascending, descending 
all work by using the object value. So if the object that is active is a button, well then we know we're clicking a button. We want to go to the previous object to perform the code against. And at this on this particular one we use a quick filter. For the ascend ascending we send a control A. For the descending we send a control Z. The show all basically just shows all. Adding a bookmark, if you look down here, we have a conditional object. That conditional object has two levels or two pages, add bookmark and show passwords. Uh, the way we've got it set up is we have it set to a variable called X condition or XCON. And if it's one, then it's add a bookmark. If it's two, it's show passwords. When you take and click on the add bookmark, it takes and commits the current record, uh, sets our level to uh, condition one, uh, then starts a new record. And if there is a value or a web address in our search string, then it adds that as the file location for the URL and then all you do is put it in the group you want and give it a name for your bookmark. Save it. That's it. Very simple. If this is blank, then you fill in all three fields. But again, very simple. Now to save bookmark is just a parent form commit. You don't have to do anything special there. On a delete bookmark, what we're doing is we are committing the record, just in case. Um, then we do a standard, a real simple uh, a table equals table current and then we delete a range record number equals var mbr. Where do we get that? You've seen us do it before. We do it on fetch of the records. There you go, record number for web list. That assigns the value to our mbr and allows us to delete the record that we want. Notice also in here that we set ws string to equal our browse one file location dot text. Uh, that's an easy way to pass values to and from variables. The object's on the form, it has a text value or a text property, so you just assign that to your variable, then you can use that variable any way you want and use it as a branching or to assign values, use it as a lookup, anything that you need to do with it. Okay, that is pretty much it on our form. I guess I could show you our list here because I know doing list is always a, a sticking point for a lot of people. The variable is called a BM group. It's a list box and the choices are from the current table and its values from that table and all we want is the field groups. We're displaying unique keys only. Then when you take an select one in the list, the on change event filters through a query run our records in the list. That's it. As you can see, it's always my philosophy to take and keep things as simple as I possibly can and this is pretty simple. So thank you folks for stopping by. Have a great day. We will be looking at that um, file manager on our next session. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.